NHL 23 gives players a realistic ice hockey experience. You can perform stunts and skate at incredibly high speeds to stop your opponents and win games to gain victory. You can play with top-tier pro gamers in the league's largest arenas. You can push and drag the puck on the ice to exert control over the game and take the opportunity by scoring a goal with X-Factors to get on the highlight reel. The stick mechanics in the sports game are spectacular, allowing the puck to flow fluidly while players compete for its place. Because of the realistic gameplay, you may be aggressive on the ice and unite their group to establish a strong team to win. So, let's have a look at some general tips that will help you get started and give you a competitive edge in the game. After selecting a job, the next important choice you'll have to make is your archetype, which will have an impact on your qualities and cannot be changed once your career is underway. This will not only assist you in quickly mastering the game, but also in precisely learning new techniques. Playmaker is the ideal option if you're undecided because it might be the simplest for new players to learn. Otherwise, you should think about what type of gameplay you'll concentrate on. The power archetype is most suited for scorers who are particularly physical, while sniper is best for committed shooters, grinder is for concentrated defenders, two-way is best for versatile defenders, and enforcer is ideal for powerhouse fighters. Each of these archetypes has its own advantages, and playing around different modes in NHL 23 a little can help you figure out which one suits best according to your playstyle, so that if you want, you can select it later. Your ability to select an NHL team will be based on the choices you make in the draft part of your career development. Choose to start in the NHL to choose your team if you are certain which one you want to play for and don't want to take any risks. You can start in Europe or the CHL Memorial Cup if you want to extend the start of your journey a little and aren't too concerned with whichever team you end up playing for. These routes result in a series of team interviews, and those interviews, together with your CHL or European results, will determine how highly you are selected and which organizations are interested in you. So take your time assembling your crew rather than just rushing off. Understanding the significance of each and every role on the team would be very helpful. This will assist you in choosing a team that is generally balanced and will undoubtedly perform better on the field. In addition to building a great squad and winning games, NHL 23 places a lot of emphasis on leveling up individual players. Having a balanced team with the appropriate goaltenders, defense, and forwards can prove to be a definition of team ownership. Although it may cost a few coins, upgrading team members from Tier 1 to Tier 2 will undoubtedly improve performance. Players' stats in the game will increase as they level up, improving their overall abilities. Each stage might result in a 2-3 point increase in the metrics for skating, shooting, hands, checking, and defense. But, you should be aware of which players require an upgrade earlier than the other. Based on your playstyle and the needs of the squad, you should prioritize the upgrade. After you have finished upgrading the players you select initially, you can attempt to improve players who have tier lower than others. Players may get a decent idea of which players should level up first by looking at the candidates and winners of the Team of the Year honors. Team tactics include a ton of customizable options that may change the course of the game. Team tactics are just as crucial as player development. To better your games, if you struggle with your teams, then try adjusting these parameters. There are several methods that may be employed to improve constantly which serves as icing on your skill set. Full attack as their offensive pressure is an option for teams with a great shooting rotation. Meanwhile, teams with durable defenders can opt for contained puck as their defensive pressure to position them between the puck and the net. Players may also adjust the offensive line and defensive pairing parameters to discover the playstyle that suits them best. The in-game currency called coins can be obtained in a number of different ways. These include competing in offline competitions, playing hockey ultimate team rivals, and exchanging players in the auction market for profit. Depending on goals scored, winning online games such as HUT Rivals and HUT Champions will give a substantial reward. However, it's a tough and risky alternative that isn't certain to work out in your favor. Once the regular season has begun, you can approach the general manager at any time to seek a trade, but they are not compelled to agree. Your team's likability, management's likability, and primary line score will all drop if you are unsuccessful in persuading the general manager. It might be preferable to just create a new save with the same player to select a different squad if you're still quite early in your career. Another excellent approach to make coins is to complete your daily and weekly goals. These offline tasks can involve completing a given number of goals for a certain number of coins, making certain passes, or scoring few goals. 
You can even purchase NHL players from the auction market to build a formidable HUT with the coins earned. Now, moving on to some gameplay tips which will help you perform better during the playtime. Make sure to keep these tips in mind when you first start playing NHL 23. NHL features numerous face-offs, which are a great way to regain control of the puck. They can occur at the beginning of a game or a period, when a player passes the puck past the offside line, or when the referee signals for icing following a goal. You may pick from a variety of moves in NHL 23 to win face-offs. You can perform a deke, forehand, backhand, backhand stick lift, forehand, backhand lift, or backhand stick lift. A backhand will often defeat a forehand in a face-off, Likely to win the puck over a backhand stick lift is a forehand tie-up. As soon as the puck touches down the ice, analyze your opponents and anticipate their actions. This will give you an advantage over other participants when the game is being played. Being a skilled goalie will prevent the forwards from scoring. Watch the puck between passes and get the goaltender ready to be alert if opponents breach the blue line near the center. Use the technology in NHL 23's one-touch button to change the camera angle so goalies have a greater chance of stopping the puck from entering the nets. To make a successful stop, you might paddle down, hug the post from left to right, or even dive. The greatest alternatives for goalie are NHL All-Stars with the X-Factory ability. They have enhanced range, accuracy, and recovery for poke checks close to the goal, as well as a high success percentage for goal saves. NHL features aggressive takedowns and harsh moves. Players are skilled at grabbing the puck as they skate across the ice. It just takes a few seconds to be outplayed in the game, and the opponents in it won't miss their chance to take the puck away. The squad can gain control by taunting opponents with slick movements and rapid passes. NHL 23's 3D graphics offer rich features that are superimposed in real time onto players. NHL 23's player body language and facial emotions may be